Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Okay guys, today I have got two boxes from Dreamer Designs. I have never ordered from this company before. I have no idea what's actually gonna come in these boxes. I mean, I know what kit it is, but I don't know about the kit contents or anything. So this video is really not for informational purposes. This is just going to be um, me finding out what's in the box along with you guys. Also, Nugget's here. Uh, you can probably hear him chewing on stuff. Hey there, Nugget. You gonna chew on your toy? You wanna show everybody your toy? This is the saddest. It, do it doesn't have any of its insides anymore. It's just a floppy, oh, I'm sorry. By all means, continue. He does not like any other toy as much as he likes that one. I tried to buy him another one, but it came in a much larger size and he has more trouble playing with it. So we just let him keep this one. <laughs> For comparison's sake, <laughs> here is the super huge one that they sent. I ordered what I said medium when I ordered because there wasn't a small. So I was like, well, medium it is. But, um, oh, 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 okay. Back to the task at hand. Let's see which one I want to start with. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. Oh my God, Nugget, really? <laughs> okay, this is just going to be a chaotic video. Like, it, it's fine. Anyway, this one is Jesse. It is by the artist Curtis Reykjavik. Um, I'm pretty sure this this one, is, yeah, this is a fairly new release. So this one came out, I think, in June. I think I ordered it right when it did come out. The other one also is a fairly new release. Now, Dreamer Designs has said that they are making some changes. They're in the process of revamping their kits and I'm not sure if also they're revamping their rendering process. It's kind of unclear exactly what their upcoming changes are going to be. There's going to be some new artists. I am kind of in the dark about all of that, but I did want to just mention it, even though I don't have a lot of information on what's actually going on. But so basically what I'm saying is what we see in here may not be the way that future kits from Dreamer Designs look. Okay, I guess the first thing that we should do is like actually look at the box. I do like how this looks. I mean, I like the coloring on it. I like the, what, is that an iridescent quality? Is that the right word? But I mean, you can see what it's doing there. I, I like that effect. Um, what do we got here? Okay, so it's just giving you some information on the side. Information on the back. Oh, well, that's... All this stuff's gonna be in there. All right, we will see. And, oh, why diamond paint? Reduces stress and anxiety. Yes, it does. Improves your focus. I also think that's true. Helps your fine motor skills, really? Cool. Increases your social circle. I mean, for me, that has been true, yeah. Helps to spark creativity. Okay, sure. I guess that is accurate. Also, this, this little handle thing, that's pretty cool. Nugget, it would be great if you would just let me do this and not be like right here. <laughs> I don't know if this plastic is going to be as difficult for me as the Diamond Art Club box plastic, but uh, let me just get back to you. Okay, that is done. And now I can access my little handle thingy, which is cool, I guess. I assume I'm going to open the box at the same place that I would open a Diamond Art Club box. So let's see what is in here. Oh, okay. Some kind of mesh bag, I think. Let's just yank it out of here. Okay, this is what was in the box. So it all comes in this cute little like tote bag thing. That's interesting. I like it. Let's see what all we've got in here. Okay, that feels like drills. This is the canvas, obviously. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna have to mess that up though when we look at it. I'll never get it back that pretty. 
but for now, let's let's appreciate it. What else? Nugget. I said appreciate it, not eat it. Okay, we've got this. This must be our toolkit. Yes, Nugget. It yes, it is not for you. It is it is not. Okay, Nugget had to go in another room. <laughs> he was gonna run off with the toolkit, so we're back. This is the drills. It is a round drill kit. I don't know if I said that before, but here they are. I suppose we are going to go through these drills one by one like I usually do in unboxings. Um, I definitely do want to take a closer look at them. <laughs> okay, I guess we should check out this tool kit. Oh, well, I like the way this bag feels. That's really nice. Okay, we got a bag of baggies. We have got two trays with Dreamer Designs labeling or branding on them. We've got, whoops, two of these wax containers with Dreamer Designs labeling. We've got tweezers labeling. Let's check the sharpness. Oh yeah, that looks very effective. We have got multi-placers and this looks like a straightener. What, how many does this place? Is this, this doesn't look big enough to be a four placer, but maybe it is. Hello, focus, I don't know. Three, four, hello? Well, you don't, th this one's just blurry. Just let's pretend it's blurry in real life. Okay, um, I don't know how many this places either. I am not experienced enough with multi-placing to be able to tell you just on site how many that would pick up. But anyway, got those. And also we've got two different style diamond painting pens. I have heard that this style, this tip is better for ABs, and this is the tip that we are all used to. And also there's little grippies that came for both pens. Okay, now we gotta undo this cute little ribbon. Um, okay, uh, which one do I pull? That one, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice. I, I do like this part. This makes it feel very fancy. Okay, but I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with this now, but it was it was a nice effect. Now which end is up? I suppose we'll just have to find out. My my first thought is this canvas is you, it definitely doesn't feel like a diamond art club canvas. That's that's for sure. It uh, it's more stiff. Okay, I, I would love if <laughs> it's just rolling back up as I unroll it. What else are we getting here? This, what is this? Oh, it's our, that's our sticker sheet. Okay, let me just unroll and see what all is wrapped up in here. I will show you that. And this, oh, and we, it was all rolled around this, this foam piece. Okay. All right, what is this? Oh, it wants us to join the Facebook group and follow them on Instagram. Um, instructions on how to diamond paint. Okay, cool. And then the stickers. Are these individual stickers? And what is written in down here? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, they are individual stickers. So you can peel these off and put them on containers. Wow, there's a lot of colors in this. Now, I don't think they do their ABs in the same way because I saw, oh, AB. Wow, that's a lot of ABs. <laughs> okay, so we have 53 regular colors and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight AB colors. I don't know what A314 means, but uh, that's a lot of ABs. So cool. I've said, why do I keep saying cool? I just reverted back to the 90s. All right, I think I'm just gonna roll this backwards because it just doesn't want you to see this pretty girl. Okay, y'all, I rolled her backwards and it's laying flatter now and look at her. She is so gorgeous. I honestly think that this looks better than I was thinking that it would. 
uh, but some things I do want to kind of throw out there, things that I've heard about Dreamer Designs canvases or kits in the past. One thing that I've heard from people is that the canvas is very like oversaturated. The colors are just very present, like more present than the symbol is, which the symbol is the thing that we as diamond painters need to see more clearly than the color. So I can, I can definitely see where people are coming from with that. Um, I can tell what the symbol is, but I definitely do think that uh, it's not as clear. But I, I don't think that I'm gonna have trouble with this. I mean, these these are some fairly bright colors. So like this this green over here, I feel like this area being a uh, very oversaturated might <laughs> might hurt my eyes after a while to look at it, but um, I'm just kind of trying to glance at it through the camera here. I, I just don't, I don't see anything that I think is just like on the nose problematic, but I, I have done this on many of my unboxings before where I've been like, I don't see any symbols that might be problematic. And then I start working on the kit and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe they put like the up, down, left and right arrows all in this one section or something like that. So I usually wouldn't recognize a problematic symbol until I was actually working on the kit. Something else that I've heard about Dreamer Designs is that there's some fraying issues with the edges of the canvas. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with the focus today, but you can see that we're already beginning to show some signs of some fraying, which probably wouldn't be a big deal on a, um, hello, can we, can we flatten out? Probably wouldn't be a big deal on a square kit, but on a round kit, you, if, if it was fraying really badly and kind of getting on the canvas even after you had completed some spots, there would still be the possibility of those little pieces sticking onto the, the parts that are still exposed. So I, I don't know, we're gonna see how that goes because this is round drill, so I will probably have to face those problems if they come about. Something else that I have seen people mention a lot of is the skin tone. I don't, I don't know, skin tone renderings, I guess, color choices in these Curtis Rykovich damsels. This one I feel like is, I, I'm worried a little bit that her shoulder might look a little bruised, but it does seem like this one is not likely to be <laughs> a big problem as some of the others that I've seen. Uh, it does look a little red in some spots, but we'll, we'll look at the drill colors that go right there and see what we think. But I, I don't think I'm alarmed at this point, having seen just the canvas. I know that we just did kind of a little bit of a pan over so you could see the symbol clarity, but I'll just go ahead and put up a slow pan, probably just over me talking because I like to ramble. But, uh, I just wanted to tell you the sizing on this kit. It is a 60 by 80 centimeter. And I think I already mentioned that the title of this kit is Jessie. So we've got a, a pretty little witch girl. We've got her cute little jack-o'-lantern in her hair. She's got these cute headphones. She's got her cute little black kitty. I love her little bag, her little um, Walkman that she has. I just, I, I really like the artwork and I'm, I'm hoping so much. I have such high hopes for how this is going to turn out when it's finished. Okay, let's look at the drills. If you want to skip this part, that's fine. I will leave a timestamp for you to be able to do that. I don't know if we're going to look at where every single one of the ABs go because there is quite a lot of them, but we might can take a quick glance and see uh, how they're using those in this piece. But for now, we're going to look at drills. Oh, look, they also do the labeling on the drill bags. So if you store the canvas and drills separately, then you'll still be able to find them. Okay, y'all, let's see what we got. 
it got 318, 327, two bags, 413, 414. I've got three bags of 310, 315, 317, 152. I wonder if that's a skin tone color. I was gonna say what a pretty pink, but um, then I'm thinking it might be skin tone and I don't really want that to be pink, but uh, we'll get to that later. 154, two bags. 165, 209, 779, 819, 823, 890, 894. Now that's a pretty pink. I I hope that's not skin tone. <laughs> I don't know where it will go, but I do like that color. 733, 760, 761, 762, 777, two bags of 550, 580, 581, 699, 223, 224. Now those kind of look like skin tone choices I'd be okay with. Uh, more 310. One, two, three bags. I don't, does that make it six in total? I don't know. I know we already said 310 once, but we've got some more. 3713. 3722. Whoa, there's one just dancing around in there. There's a lot of static with these, I think. 3740, 3799, 3899, 3371, 3607, 3608, 3712, 3831, 3832, 3837, 3857, 3858. Oh yeah, there's some static in there. <laughs> I like to see them dance. Okay. Oh, here we go. We got some ABs. So this is AB906. I think you can tell this is a much more subtle coating on the top of these, but they, they still are different. You can tell they have a different shine. Oh, there's just another AB, not uh, AB 973. So a yellow, I hope my focus is working now. Another AB 3078, maybe if I flip it over. Yeah, I think you can see. And then AB 3609, ooh, a pink, nice. I like the shine on that. It's almost like pearlescent rather than like the really obvious Aurora Borealis effect from like Diamond Art Club ABs. I, I kind of like this. I'm interested to work with those. 3865, AB 208. Okay, we got a big old bag of this. So a lot of purple AB. Then 210, AB 210. So like a lavender, sorry. I don't think that bringing it closer was helping. I do like that shimmer. Okay, AB 211. So now we're even lighter, an even lighter lavender. So many ABs. AB 704, wow, that's a nice green. Oh, I hope that's in her hair. Or maybe her sweater. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, last strand. 415, 469, 470, 471, and 472. So we just count it up. Okay, we're done with drills. And I kind of have a lot to unpack here. So what I did after the drills was I separated out the skin tone colors which the first thing I noticed is that your number symbols don't match up to the order here. I, I, I use these numbers. I think that most people do not, but I keep my drills in the order 
that they are listed on the legend. So if this is bothersome for you to have like the number four symbol be the third drill color, then, you know, be aware, hey, that one matches up. But I, when I was uh, looking for the skin tone colors, I, I noticed that because I got confused immediately. Also, the next thing I noticed was there is a crap ton of colors in her face and arms. So we've got all of these, but I am not alarmed by these colors. Like these look like, like skin colors <laughs> that could actually be on a person. So, I mean, these darker ones are kind of the, the more shaded areas, like the, the bottom of her nose there and like in just darker areas where it makes sense for it to be darker. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna love the way that the shading is rendered, I don't know, but I can't knock the color choices, at least not yet. I don't think that they are just overly orange or pink. Um, whoops. I think that I am okay with this. Now, as far as the ABs go, I don't think that I'm gonna try to search out eight ABs on here, considering that the bags are fairly small. I think that there's not gonna be a whole lot of each color. So I'm not sure, maybe this one, cause it seems like there's a lot of this one. We might could search that one out and see. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll find the ABs on the canvas, but I'm not going to move the canvas around. I'll just point for you instead of bringing the canvas up so that you can see the symbols for every one of them. So that first one, this dark purple, I am seeing that in her her little headphone here. I'm seeing it in her hair and I'm seeing it down here in her purse strap, even the part that goes over her shoulder and then also some down here in her little purse. I said I wasn't gonna lift the canvas, but there it is. <laughs> it's just kind of down here as well. The next one, this lighter purple is in pretty much all the same places. So I'm seeing it in the headphones again, in her hair in the purse and also there's like a line of it that just goes right down the curve of her arm there interesting choice then this lighter lavender color is gonna follow suit it's in all the same places it's in the hair the headphones the purse and then just a little slight bit down that the curve in her arm again this next one, this pretty green, unfortunately I don't see it in her hair or in her sweater. It looks like it's more up there in the bubbles that are surrounding her little uh, jack-o'-lantern trinket thing in her hair. There's some like kind of on the bottom of it and then all of the surrounding little bubbles have this green AB. Then for this green AB, it looks like it's gonna be the exact same place there. It's just gonna, those little bubbles are just gonna be really shiny with two different green ABs. Then this yellow AB is going to be in her little necklace and also right at the bottom of her eyes, just a little pop of yellow. This lighter yellow one is in the same spots there in the necklace and then some more under her eyes but also it's in her hair. I can see some even down through there. And last but not least, of course, we've got our pink AB. The only place I'm seeing that is kind of down in the purse. Again, I'll get that better in view for you so you can see that there's some pink in there. Uh, not all of that pink tone. There's, there's a couple of different pinks and one of them is the AB. All right, y'all, let me give you a last look at Jessie before I roll her back up and then we're gonna pull out the other kit. All right, kit number two. We're gonna go through this one a little bit faster because one, we've already looked at like the box, the toolkit, those types of things. Two, because it is getting later in the day and as it starts to get dark, my neighbors are gonna start shooting their fireworks. Happy 5th of July or whatever 
but they're going to shoot them again tonight, I'm sure, and it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So, I'm going to get this video done before that starts happening. Uh, this one is called Never Leave Home by Curtis Reykjavik. I call her the pretty pink lady, and that is why I made this purchase, because she is pink and beautiful. So, I'm sorry, I keep hitting this tripod. <laughs> This video is just chaos, okay? If you're not here for the chaos, then then why are you here? You you must love chaos by this point, I'm sure. All right. The other kit, I actually did manage to get it all back into this bag, and then I couldn't get the bag back into the box. So I'm going to have to address that issue after <laughs> we're done looking at this one, but I didn't really think that through. I do really like this setup though, by the way, because I guess I could just store it in this bag. It wouldn't stack very well, but I guess I could do it. That way my canvas and drills would be together. But I I don't know if I care about that <laughs> because my canvases and drills for my other kits are not together. So anyway, that is another thing I'll think about later. Okay, there's this super soft bag. Could I have a blanket made out of this, please? But uh, there's our toolkit. Drills are in here. I cannot wait to see these paints. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, you've won me over Dreamer Designs. I'm in love with those colors. All right, we've got a pretty bow again that I'm gonna destroy. I tried to tie it back on the other one and it was very sad. My little tying is not as good as theirs. I think I should just probably go ahead and roll this backwards before I show it to you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's beautiful. She's so pink. I am very concerned about her skin. It looks very purple, but I'm not worrying about that yet. I love all the pink so much. Okay, I'll, I'll do the sort of slow pan or overview or whatever while I'm still talking. I think I said already that this was round drill. No, maybe I didn't say that already, but um, yeah, this is a round drill kit. It is a 60 by 80 centimeter, just like the last one that we looked at. And the original artwork for this is so freaking gorgeous. I hope that the rendering can pick up like all of the details in her dress because it is so, so pretty in the original image. I'm really excited to work on this one. I really want to see how it turns out because like I said, it was it's a new release for Dreamer Designs, so I haven't seen anybody work on it yet and I really, really want to know how this one looks finished. And this is already wanting to roll back up, so I wonder if whatever it is that is self-flattening about Diamond Art Club's canvases is not the same with this, though I, I do think that it will flatten out, especially once drills are placed, so I'm not really terribly concerned about that. Now, what I do want to do that I am a little concerned about is look at the drills because I've got to see these skin tones. I did forget to show you, because when I unrolled it, this came out as it did with the other one, so gotta get down here and see our ABs. Okay, so this one has only got four ABs. That, that seems a little more like what I'm used to. Also uh, 59 colors and then the four ABs. Again, we're gonna go through all of the drills. So if you wanna skip this part, there will be a timestamp down below and you can join us when we look at where the ABs go and we are gonna check out that skin tone. These colors are really everything to me, by the way. So <laughs> I'm very excited. We've got 604, one, two, three bags of that. 605, two bags of that. 3805, 3806, two bags of that one, 3834, 3835, 931, 932, 938, 550, 
3726, 3727, 605. Didn't we already have 605? Maybe this is just an extra bag. 646, 648, 761, 778, 779, 814, 819, 823, 930, 3740, 3743, 3750, 3752, 3753. These two colors I just was not expecting. I mean, I guess they could be, oh, I'm losing the focus. Like through there, maybe that looks like a little bit of blue in that star there. I mean, I guess there's blue accents in this. I, I don't know why I just wasn't expecting these nice blue and, and a blue green. Anyway, 3041, 3042, 3371, 3608, two bags of 310, 315, 316, 317, and 318. 3608, I think we already saw that one, so another bag of that. 3685, 3687, 3688, and 3689. 3756, 3768, 3799, 3802, and 3803. 154, 161, 221, 223, 3836, 3840, AB08. Alright, so a white AB. That's pretty, so subtle, but so pretty. I really like that. Then AB211, so this lavender AB. And then AB3609, a nice soft pink there. I think there's another one of these. Yes, another AB3609, and then AB3607, so a brighter pink AB. Oh, I love it. All right, y'all, I separated out the ABs and the skin tone colors, and I'd be, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, like, a little concerned. <laughs> At first, I was pretty happy. This looks like a skin color, and it's, it's a pretty hefty bag. I think there's a lot of this used. And then this, okay. And this, this is a little, a little pink, but okay. A lot of her face is white AB. A lot of her face is white AB. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, and maybe it's like in good highlighting places, like maybe where she used her highlighter in her makeup. Um, we're just gonna roll with that and um okay that's that's a little gray a little on the gray side yeah um okay so I, I don't think that it's it's like bad bad so we're just gonna kind of see what happens when I do this but I do think it's a little gray uh mostly in the darker areas it, but maybe it'll look fine as shadowing once I get it actually actually get drills placed as far as ABs we already talked a little bit about the AB08 so that's going to be a lot in her face but I also I mean it's in it's in her arms as well and I saw some in her hair not all of that uh, white looking color is the AB. Some of it is, is a different light color, but there is some on both sides of her hair. There's some of that white AB. The next one is the AB211, so this lavender color, which I was surprised to find it mostly, in, not mostly, it's all in her hair. <laughs> that's that's where it is. It's, it's 
all around in her hair, which to me, I wasn't picking up purpley tones whenever I was just looking at the artwork, but maybe it's, it's a nice subtle, I mean, it's not like this color doesn't look nice up against a pink. Like, I think that it's probably going to look just fine. I'm not, I'm not terribly worried about that. The AB3609 is also in her hair, which, I mean, I guess if I counted like every single drill placed, it would probably be a lot, but it's looking like it was pretty dispersed around the hair. So it's, it seems like we wouldn't need these two big bags of it, but maybe it's more than what I can really take in just at a glance. Then we have the AB3607, and guess what? It's in her hair. What a shocker. So, really shimmery hair, really shimmery face and arms. Interesting. I was thinking that it was going to be her dress that was extra shimmery because it almost looks like it has like sequins or some kind of jewel stuff going on to make it kind of sparkly, but maybe not. So we're going to have some sparkly pink hair, which I am excited to see once, once it's all finished. I gotta say I'm a little nervous about her. I'm, uh, I am pleasantly surprised at how she's looking like just the canvas because the, the rendering had me a little nervous uh, when I was looking at the Instagram post and I just, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to be happy with it, but I do like the way that she looks. I'm just worried about the color choices that may have been made, but we'll, we'll see how it all looks when it comes together and I will do my best to update you guys. I, I do a terrible job of updating my Instagram and then I do a terrible job of actually doing post reviews when I get done with something. So <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems like I never finish anything, which I really hardly ever finish anything, but I'm going to try to figure out a better way of showing you guys when I finish stuff. So hopefully by the time I get around to working on this one and Jesse, I will have some method worked out where you will be able to see progress or finishes as they get done. But that's all from me today, you guys. Let me know how you feel about these kits, how you feel about Dreamer designs in general. And I hope you are having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!